Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. That wasn't right. Hold on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I just figured on today's August 1st, I would go ahead and do a review of what the August book of the month books are. Um, I have my computer right here and I'm just going to go through them. I have already looked at them, so this is not like a reaction video, um, but I will sh show you what the books are, give you a little synopsis, tell you the good reads, and also pick which, my, which books are going to be my August book of the month picks. So, the first book we have is Small Angels. I will put it on the screen so you can pause and read that. Um, but it says it is a gothic fiction in this small village where even the trees have secrets, a wedding reunites old friends and awakens ghosts of the past. It says good to know it's supernatural, rural, LGBTQ plus themes, and wedding. Goodreads review has an average of 4.33 stars, so that's pretty good. I did read the synopsis and um, when I pick these books, I do the preview, read a sample of it. Um, I don't think I'm going to go with this one. Uh, it does look good, but I think this is something that I would probably get from my library, so I'm going to skip it. Um, the next one is called When We Were Bright and Beautiful. Again, I'm just going to put these all on the screen. You can pause if you want to read them or not. Um, this one is a contemporary fiction. It says, in this gripping story set in the shadows of New York's elite, one family begins to unravel in the wake of a scandal, good to knows, or family drama, unsettling, a legal thriller in New York City. This one is definitely one that I'm looking at. Let me look up the Goodread reviews. Goodread reviews it has an average of 4.12 stars, so not too bad. The next book is Daisy Darker. Uh, quick take. Oh, sorry. This is a thriller. Quick take is crumbling estate. Check. Bundle of family secrets. Check. Folks getting picked up, picked off like flies. Check. Trust no one. Good to know. Or it's a fast read. Creepy. Non-linear timeline and who done it. And the good read reviews for this one are average of 4.15 stars. So these are all have really good reviews on Goodreads. Um, I don't know how much I trust Goodreads because I feel like people go on there and review the book before they've even read it, but people who've gotten ARCs or copies from like NetGalley and stuff go on there and review it. The next one is The Mini Daughters of Afongmoy. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, this is a literary fiction. This is the other one that I'm debating between. It says, moving and kaleidoscopic, this lyrical story of inheritance explores the ties that bind us to past and future family. Good to knows our emotional, non-linear timeline, multiple viewpoints, and cerebral. Um, this one looks really good. I think this one had a good read review of like four as well, four point something. But I will let you know. Okay, this one was average Goodreads review of 4.15 stars. Um, we also have seven picks this month. So there's quite a few picks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven picks. So the next one is Girl Forgotten, which is a thriller. Uh, it says, in Karen Slaughter's latest, a newly minted marshal on assignment and can't help being drawn into a gruesome cold case. Good to know, are it's psychological. Famous author, 400 plus pages, second in series. So I have not, I will not be getting this one. I have not read the first one. Um, and I am not a huge Karen Slaughter fan. So this one has an average rating of 4.24 stars. The next pick is called Bronze Drum. It's a historical fiction. It says, this epic tale of sisterhood and reclaiming homelands will have your heart pounding in your chest like drums of war. Good to know is feminist, underdog, forbidden love, and war. Um, the Goodreads review of this one. I haven't looked up yet, so I'm not sure. 4.07 stars, so not bad. Um, and then the last one is The Devil Takes You Home, which is a horror. It says this surreal borderland gen genre bender follows the violent journey of one man trying to hold his family together. 
Um, good to know is it's creepy. It has marriage issues, graphic violence, drug and alcohol use. And I'm actually, I haven't looked at this one, so this might also be one that I'm choosing between. I just looked at these this morning, so. Um, average Goodread reviews is 4.32 stars, so that's really good. Um, so I'm going to go look at all of these, figure out which one I want to get. Um, I will show you the add-ons that they added this month. I believe they only added one add-on, and I think it was... There may have been two add-ons. They changed how they do their website, so instead of doing add-ons, they changed it to Spotlight, and a lot of these are... Just what's popular right now so the first add-on that I know is new is Lisa Jewell's new book The Family Remains quick take is uh, in this thrilling sequel to the family upstairs from Lisa Jewell nothing's as it seems and everything is connected this is a thriller good to knows are multiple viewpoints international puzzle and second in series and then the second one I I don't know if this is an add-on or not is a literary fiction called Mercury Pictures Presents this epic story of survival and hope during World War II will have you rewinding and cheering like a Hollywood classic. Good to know, it's over 400 pages. Immigration, movie-ish, and glamorous. Um, and the Goodread reviews for those two. Mercury Pictures, the Goodreads average reviews 3.98 stars. And then for Lisa Jewell's new book, the average star on Goodreads is 4.24 stars. So. Alright, I am going to go look at these, read them, um, figure out, like I said, I think I'm between three books right now. The website is being very slow. I'm between When We Were Bright and Beautiful, The Many Daughters of Afung, Afung Moy, I don't know if I'm saying that right again, and The Devil Takes You Home, potentially. So, I will own it does say... The only book that says you're going to have a delay if you add it to your box is The Devil Takes You Home. So I'm going to go read these. I will be right back and let you know what I'm getting in my box. Oh, I also, when looking at this, just realized I did not tell you what the member faves were. So if you're not interested in any of the picks, you can choose a member fave, um, which is just favorites from Book of the Month members. So I have three out of the five. So I won't be doing that, but the five are Breathless, which is a thriller, Love and Other Disasters, which is a romance, A River Enchanted, which is a fantasy, Don't Cry For Me, which is a historical fiction, and then Instructions for Dancing, which is a young adult. So those are the five member fave picks. Um, and if you don't like any of those, then you can always skip the month. Um, so I just wanted to include that as well. All right, so after much deliberation, and going between three different books, I decided I'm going with When We Were Bright and Beautiful, so make my book of the month. And then I'll show you what's in my box. Um, I'm getting, obviously, When We Were Bright and Beautiful, The People We Keep, and Take My Hand as add-ons. So those will be my books for the month of August. It was very difficult choosing. I am very upset that... Um, Love on the Brain was not included in Book of the Month, but, and also a lot of the Book of the Months were kind of depressing, so that kind of, that kind of sucks, but it's okay. I think When We Were Bright and Beautiful is going to be pre uh, pretty good, and I had it on my TBR for books that I was looking forward to uh, for the year, so I'm going to get that. Hopefully it's good. Um, I thought about just skipping the month and getting my two add-ons from a bookstore, but honestly, the two add-ons I'm getting would have cost $35 just for those two, and I'm only paying $20 to get all three, so, because I already have a credit for the month. So, I'm just going to get these. This is going to be my book of the month for August, um, and yeah, hopefully it's good. I've heard that the When We Were Bright and Beautiful is a very quick read, so... Uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, hey guys, so I am actually back. I decided that with these videos um, monthly, I wanted to go ahead and unbox 
the book of the month box with you guys because it does ship pretty quickly i get it within four to five days of when i order it so or pick my selection so i'm just gonna add this to the end of the video and let you guys see my picks for the month um let me see how i want to do this i guess i'll just open it like this so you guys can see so this is the box i'll get better at this um i'm having to be in my room right now so my husband's on work meetings so i have to be in here but yeah, I'm just going to open it like this. Maybe in the future I'll flip the camera around, but this is my box. So as you can see, it always says you've got great taste. And my August pick, I almost said July pick, August pick is at the very top. So I'll just pull them out. Um, so my August pick was obviously When We Were Bright and Beautiful by Jillian Medoff. So this is it. It says on the back, August 2022 and yeah I like to look at the cover and everything um so that was my first book of the month pick and then I got two add-ons um so the first add-on that I got was Take My Hand by Dolan Perkins Valdez if I say any of the names wrong obviously I'm very sorry I just don't know how to pronounce them um but dolan perkins valdez take my hand i'm very excited to read this um this was a may pick um and i've heard really amazing things and the description of it sounds fantastic and the cover is just gorgeous so that's the cover that's the back may 2022 and it's yellow spined so I'm very excited about this one. And then the next one I've heard overall just great things about as well. It is The People We Keep by Allison Larkin. Um, this was my third pick, my second add-on. So this was a July 2021 pick. Like I said, I've heard amazing, amazing things about it. Um, and then as always, they add the bookmark. And I have not seen spoilers of the bookmark. I've been staying off of... Um, all the pages for book of the month so i didn't spoil the bookmark but the bookmark if you want to see it is says read like your tbr is watching that's really cute i love these bookmarks i have them on a pile on my um, bookshelf because my husband's always taking them i'm always taking them can always use more bookmarks so that is everything in my book of the month box i will go ahead and show a quick little scan of them so you can see the covers really well and then that'll be the end of the video so i hope you guys enjoyed watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah i'll see you in the next one